Okay guys, so today I'm gonna do a nail tutorial doing gel sandwich sheet nail. So today I'm gonna use my Pudi Proof Strainer um, base coat. Then I'm gonna use this OPI Eucali Mia Liar. Then I'm gonna use this new OPI from the new collection from Gwen Stefani. And then I'm gonna use this other um, nail polish um, from Revlon. And I'm gonna put all the names on the bottom so you can see them. Then I'm gonna use my favorite um, top coat and then fast drops to uh, dry my nails. And then I'm gonna use these rhinestones. They are black. And I'm gonna use this pointy. Um, and then I'm gonna use um, my um, glue for the rhinestones. And then I'm gonna use my. Uh, creams for my nails and hands okay guys so first I'm gonna um, I did a base of a coat of my base coat now I'm gonna apply my OPI you color me a liar on my on my fingers set my ring finger and I'm just gonna uh, apply one coat um, if you really want to have a lot of uh, layers with your sandwich um, jelly sandwich nails then you could go ahead and put two layers and then two layers on top um, but of your glitter but I'm just gonna use one uh, layer of uh, you calling me a liar from OPI and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my glitter on my not even in my ring finger in my middle finger yes in my middle finger so sorry guys now I'm just going to go ahead and apply one coat and try to make that even and make it look even. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply this um, glitter from Revlon and it's called, it's called Graffiti and I'll put the number and stuff on the information bar. So as you see I'm just applying an even coat of glitter all through the nail and try to put it on the tips and push it inside I don't have I don't want some glitter sticking out of my nail now then I'm just gonna go ahead and do on all the other nails where I, I lied I put a coat of a are you calling me a liar from OPI now I'm just you know putting it evenly making sure that I don't I don't have a lot of spots empty so yeah guys um so i'm gonna go ahead and apply that and on my fingers and on my finger on my nail and then on my pinky as well so it's just very easy on nail art for this week um <coughs> so i'm gonna have um nail tutorials on Friday I think that's the perfect day to do nail tutorials okay now I'm gonna apply another coat of the glitter and so I'm loving this glitter it's so pretty guys I don't know if you could see it on camera uh, but it's very pretty I really do love it it's very very um, glittery effect it's very pretty now on my glitter finger I'm gonna go ahead and apply a top coat and let it dry for 10 minutes and then whenever it's dry I'm gonna go ahead and do my design on top of my gl glitter okay so now as you see I'm doing the the OPI color me liar on top of the Revlon glitter and then um, I'm applying I'm gonna go ahead and apply two coats of OPI you call me liar of course I'm gonna let it dry between um, those two applications but as you see love this glitter um, and love the effects of a gel not a gel of a jelly sandwich 
thumbnail so it's just so cool i started um, getting into the gel sandwich now like a few weeks ago so I'm loving it so now this is how i have it one coat and then this is the second coat so as you see it's more creamy and more um you can see a little bit more the creamy layer and then you could see the glitter inside the nail it's so cool guys and i just really really love it um this combo so if you have those glitters in your collection go ahead and try it i just really love it so much and it's and this nail tutorial is so good for valentine's as well because as you're gonna see right now i'm gonna apply some rhinestones so hopefully you could see them so now i'm gonna go ahead and apply my nail polish for my round rhinestones so i'm just gonna apply a little bit of that and then i'm gonna go ahead and try to pick up the rhinestones and make a shape of a heart so I'm just going to go ahead and put one in the middle and then from there I'm going to go ahead and do a one like that, curve it downwards. And it's kind of easy so you just get one side and the other side is very easy because now you know how much hearts you're going to use for the other side. Make sure you put them together. As, see, as you see right there between um, the third rhinestone i didn't uh put them together so you could see a, a gap and you don't want that you want them to be all uh, together close so like that so now what i do i press it down with my finger and of course with the tool that i have and to make sure it gets stuck a, a little bit so there i'm trying to move it but it's too dry already so I'm not gonna mess with this so I just left it like that but yes that's how you want your art your heart so as you see my nail on the other hand I have it short so this is how what short nails would it look and this is the long nail short I really love the long um look like of a long nail the whole shape of the heart just really really do love it more than my other hand but it's up to you it's whatever you want so now i'm just going to use my top coat that i just love a lot it takes forever to dry but i just put some o ozoya fast drops and um, it'll be all good for 10 minutes and then i'm just going to go ahead and clean a little bit with my starting tool and I'm just making sure I don't have no no polish. So now, sorry guys. Now I'm gonna put a dot on each nail, close to the critical, and then downwards I put the liquid. So uh, you could have all uh, the liquid on uh, my nail. So that's pretty much how I have done my nail. So if you have any requests, guys, just let me know. Um, of course, I do use my um, moisturizer whenever it's dry this is my moisturizer that i use right now so if you are interested on doing me doing more videos um no tutorials um just let me know and i'll see you next time yeah guys i'll see you next time and have a nice weekend and i hope you have a nice and safe weekend so yeah guys bye